Welcome to References. It's all in who you know. Throughout this online workshop, you'll receive information on choosing your references, information to include on your reference sheet, and communicating with your references. Never include your list of references on your resume. References should always be listed on a separate sheet and include your complete contact information at the top. That way, if your resume, cover letter, references, and other documentation get separated, the reader will be able to easily recognize your information and reorganize it. Therefore, at the bottom of your resume, indicate references available upon request or something similar to let the employer know you have professional references. Always ask permission for someone to serve as a reference. Don't assume people are willing to serve as a reference for you and that they will put in a good word. Keep your references professional. Consider work site supervisors, internship supervisors, coaches, club advisors, faculty members or advisors, anyone who can talk about you in a professional capacity. Usually three to five references are acceptable. When deciding upon the order to list your references, think about who are your best cheerleaders. Who do you want the interviewer to contact first? Important information to include on your reference sheet include title, name, job title and their relationship to you, company or organization, complete mailing address including street, city, state, and zip code, telephone number, and if possible, an email address. Treat your references like gold. They are doing you a great service. Be respectful of their time and efforts. Choose your references carefully. Think about individuals that can relate to the industry where you're applying. They will be able to better attest to your accomplishments and abilities in that area. When deciding on references, ask their permission first. Then, ask them how they prefer to be involved. Some will want to be extremely involved. Others will write a letter of recommendation on your behalf. And some will remain behind the scenes, preferring to serve more as a verbal reference instead of a written reference. Communication is essential. Treat your references with the same professional consideration you would employ with all your job-related contact. Talk to them personally rather than just communicating via email or slipping a note reference form under their office door. Keep them informed with your job search. Send them updated emails, call them, provide them with an updated copy of your resume. When you have an interview, contact them to let them know and provide them with a copy of the job description and important points discussed in your interview. The more information you can provide them, the better they will be able to advocate for you. Some prefer to write a formal letter on your behalf. Others will prefer speaking to employers on a case-by-case -case basis. Follow their lead and respect that. If they agree to serve as a verbal reference, ask for their preferred method of contact, mail, email, telephone, and home versus work contact information. Manners really do matter. Be sure to send your references a thank you, regardless of the job search outcome. Even if you don't get the job, it's still important to demonstrate your appreciation. They will be more receptive to serving as a reference for you to, in future job searches. When appropriate, let them know where you obtained a position and that you appreciated their guidance and support throughout the process. If possible, provide them with details on your new position. For more information on references, cover letters, or resumes, there are a variety of PDFs and information available on the Career Development Center's website. To access this information, go to www.ship.edu backslash career. In addition, consider completing additional online workshops. Keep checking the website for additional online workshops in the future. If you have questions concerning the content of this workshop, your resume, or would like to schedule an appointment, Contact the Career Center at 717-477-1484 or by email at career at ship.edu. For alumni, call 717-477-1218 or email alumni at ship.edu.